morning everybody today's video is going to be a bit of a vlog I'm gonna show you guys kind of what routine I'm trying to get myself in I'm trying to take better care of myself get back on track my eating habits haven't been super great I will say maybe even non-existent <laughs> everything kind of uh, went haywire for the last little while because uh, my health has been weird. We've also been really busy, which is partially why my health has been weird. Also, I started a shop on an app called Whatnot for my crochet stuff. I've gotten back into crochet after a couple of years. My right wrist is really bad as far as dislocations and pain. So I had to stop crochet for quite a while um, to help with that because crochet is actually really damaging for my wrists. In all honesty, I just need the income. I just need some sort of income. I've made $50 off of Whatnot so far. And then I also sold some of my crochet stuff at the gun show we were helping with just recently. So I have made just just barely over a hundred dollars doing this. However, this income's not really covering anything except for expenses going towards um, yarn and materials to make these little projects. So once I can pass a hundred and thirty, I will be past expenses and making a profit. So hopefully that will happen. If you guys are interested in checking out my whatnot shop, you guys are welcome to. I will include the link down below to download if you don't have the app yet. Because if uh, you don't have the app and you use that link to download, you'll get $10 from whatnot to spend on the app. So it's a pretty sweet deal. The app is really cool too because it's kind of a mixture between like eBay and live streaming. So you can have your own shop and everything and have like listings separately. But then you can also do live streams and you can sell or auction things during the live stream, which is really cool. I do live streams about, so far it's been like every other week. Um, my first stream was on a Saturday. I think I'm going to do a Saturday again because Michael can help me at that point. He can help run the listings and everything. So if you guys are interested in checking out my little crochet stuff, because I do like little crochet foods and stuff, little crochet stuffies. It's called a Migurumi, if you want to use a technical term for it. So I've been crocheting like crazy and it's been really bad for my wrist. <laughs> but anyway, so I've been doing whatnot, which has been really good. I'm gonna try to do another live stream on the 14th, which is the next one I have scheduled. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I did do like a rose tint in my hair. I really like it. I could show you guys what I used and how I did it. It washes out in a couple of washes, um, but it does help warm up my skin a little bit. If I don't do some type of tint or some type of lightening or something, I look ill. <laughs> so looking back at videos from like 2020 and earlier, when I start to feel unwell, my hair gets darker. I don't know if it's because I'm spending less time outside or what that necessarily means, but the better I feel, the lighter my hair gets. So that's always a good sign to kind of gauge where I am in my, you know, chronic pain cycle. Um, but yeah, I really think it's fun to have this little bit of tint in my hair, this rose. It kind of gives me a bit of a strawberry blonde, which is what I had when I was younger. And I really, really loved that hair color of my natural hair. And then it started to change once my health started to change, as odd as that is. I'd love to know if that's like an experience that you guys have too. Like, does your hair change when your pain gets worse slash better? Just kind of curious because that's definitely something that I've noticed over the past five years since my health has been a little strange, is that my hair definitely can portray where I am as far as wellness and well-being. It's gonna be a consistently busy day. I need to do dishes. I need to do laundry. I need to work on some crochet projects if I can get to that. Um, let me get out my planner. Oh, I need to write an outline for a Punchy Productions video I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a comparison of Timu versus Sheen because I've seen a lot of the same products on both platforms. So I wanna see if there's a more significant positive reaction to one or the other. So I'm gonna write an outline for that today. To put away laundry, unload the dryer, unload the dishes, vacuum. So I have to do a limit when I say vacuum because I try to do more than one room and um, 
it doesn't usually end well for me. So I put a limit of two rooms. We have a Dyson cordless vacuum, which has helped a ton because it's lighter weight and I don't have to worry about finagling with a cord and hurting myself that way. For other spoonies, I highly recommend getting a cordless vacuum, a lightweight cordless vacuum. I think we have the Animal V2, something like that. I'll show you what it looks like. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys these two. I got these at a store in my area it's called Attic Salt. I might take you guys there on a live stream and whatnot. It's got like these little cutouts in it too of moons and stars and circles. It's really cute. So I'm hoping that I can ask the owner of that store and see if they'd be okay with me doing a live stream there. But anyways, let's move on to the kitchen and let's start there. Okay, we are in my kitchen. I apologize about the lighting, but these are the only lights that are in here. So my kitchen is a bit of a disaster. Well, this kitchen is very small, so a small amount of clutter can make a big difference. I'm a little overwhelmed with knowing where to start. I think we're gonna start first with dishes so I can wipe the countertop underneath it when I'm done. I need to unload the dishes, so we'll start with that. Really quick, I wanted to mention this apron that I'm wearing. This is an apron that I got from Timu. It is waterproof, but it's got these little towels on the side too for wiping your hands. But I got this for like $6 off of Timu. Now due to my incredibly soft and sensitive skin, I have to wear dish gloves while I do dishes or else my skin will like get really, really sore. I got this super cute dish drain cover. I think I got it from the dollar store or maybe Smith & Edwards in Utah. I'm not quite sure, but it's super cute. Do you guys have like a better way to, to dry these once I wash them? Do you guys like turn them inside out or something? But that's just so hard on my arms and my joints to turn them inside out, to turn them right side out again. I don't know, that might sound a little ridiculous, but if you guys have a better way to do it, please let me know in the comments. Okay, kitchen is mostly done. I'm going to sweep off camera and then I'll be right back and we will make some breakfast because I have not eaten anything yet. So, see you in a little bit. You're so much smarter than Ozzy. You're using his stairs. We still haven't gotten Ozzy to use these stairs because he's scared of them. So we'll see. <laughs> Cats love them though, don't you? Hi Pepsi, say hi to everybody. He's super sweet. He always lays with his legs out like this. This is a personality trait of his. He's so much skinnier than Winnie. We thought that he was like super emaciated when we found him, but turns out he's just a really small guy. He's declawed from his previous owners. He was a stray, he wandered up to our front door, and he adopted us, didn't you? It turns out that he was probably a dump and run situation where they just decided they didn't want to have a cat anymore and they just left him to run about. He had really, really sore looking paw pads when we found him. They look really good now, don't they? Yes, they look good. He's not too sensitive about them anymore now that they're nice and healed up, so that's really good. He had ear mites when we found him too. Those are all cleared up. We got everybody treated for those just in case. He's just a nice happy little guy now, huh? Yes, you are. He's very food motivated. He loves chicken. Oh my goodness. It's definitely fall now too. I'm looking out the window and seeing all of our grass covered in leaves again. It makes me happy, but also kind of makes me sad. I love fall, but it's never long enough. Just have this basket of laundry to put away, so I'm gonna put that away really quick. Okay, we got that finished. Now we need to pair some socks and start the wash. I 
I do have plans to go into town today once Michael gets off of work too, so we'll kind of go from there and see what we can get done today without overdoing. Okay, so really quick, while I was folding, I remembered that I wanted to show you guys a really cool trick that I recently figured out. I'll turn my blankets into pillows if, you know, like I don't really want a blanket hanging over the back of the couch and I need something behind my head, or it's just more for decoration. So let me show you how I do that. I have this blanket folded in half and then in half again. So this is folded in half, and then I folded that half in half the long way. Now I'm gonna fold one end the width that I want it to be when it's a pillow. And then make sure that the side that's folded up is the one that folded over on each edge. So it's not the one that has like a free open edge like that. It's one that has this fully made pocket, if that makes sense. I'm gonna fold this in segments equal to the size of this. So it should match up like that. And then I'm gonna take these corners right here. And I'm gonna tuck them into that pocket I was showing you before right here. I'm gonna tuck this side in. And this side in. And I got these blankets from our local discount store. And they're super, super perfect for Halloween. And there you go, it's a little pillow. And now you have your little pillow instead of blanket and you can put it in the corner of your chair or whatever. Is that cool or what? I mean, I might be a little bit overly excited about it, but it's the small things, you know? I also did that with this blanket over here from our local discount store. That's how you fold a blanket and make it into a pillow. You can thank me later. Okay, we are done with laundry. Now we are gonna move on to crochet. I need to make, I think probably one more kernel for this. I hope the lighting's okay. The window's right here, so it's kind of messing with the lighting, but I hope you guys can see okay. And then I also finished making some pumpkins. I'll bring you into the studio later and I'll show you what I have made already. But we're gonna make a couple kernels. So this is my little whatnot set up for my streams. This is a s'mores and the chocolate is velvet so it's nice and soft. I give credit to the patterns that I used. I did make sure too that it was okay to sell the product once it is made. Everything else that is not on this list is patterns that I have made myself. And we got the little popcorn added in now. We have these pins too for $5. We have stickers for a dollar, less if you bundle. You can get all of them, I think, for like 12 or under. Pikachu and some kawaii stuff. We also do giveaways during our streams too, so you guys can be in to win some free stuff. The link will be down in the description for you to join us on Whatnot. If you don't have the app too, you guys can go down to the description and there will be a link down there to download the app. And if you use that link, you'll actually get $10 from Whatnot to spend. So oh, I highly recommend that you do that because $10 is $10. I mean, it's free money. Doesn't get better. I will be continuing to add on to the inventory that I currently have here because I'm just going to continue to crochet like crazy as much as my hands will let me. Also, like I said, we will be doing giveaways on pretty much every stream depending on the traffic of the stream. Um, so the more people, the more giveaways we do. So you will be in to win a free product if you are there. Free stuff. $10, it doesn't get better. I think it's a pretty sweet deal. Not only am I a seller on whatnot, but I am also a buyer on whatnot. I really have to try not to buy it on there because uh, it, it encourages the impulsive side of me, but this is one impulse purchase that I am really, really happy with. So let me show you what I got. So I got this from a streamer. I will put her name in the bottom corner right there. I'll also link her shop in the description. But she does like uh, secondhand clothing. This jacket was just too cute to pass up. I absolutely love the patches. It's got the logo on the back. Nervous that this would be too big. How freaking cute is this jacket? Definitely worth it. It has all these added buttons too, which I think is a fun little touch. I bought this for $1, but then I had to pay like $8 in shipping, right? Like shipping always gets yes. But honestly, this jacket for $9, I'll take it. So I highly recommend that you guys check out Lisa's shop on Whatnot, because she has some really cute secondhand clothes, and heaven knows I love a good deal. I love clothes, 
and um, I love whatnot. So it's it's a perfect combination. Thanks for being here for this very special moment. I forgot to bring my camera with me to the store, so sorry about that. But I will do a miniature haul to show you guys what I got. So we went to Joann's first because I had to get some new yarn. I have a relative that is asking me to make something for someone's birthday, so I'm going to be using this yarn for that. It is super soft, I love it. I've used this for previous projects and I absolutely love it. And it was 25% off, so super happy about that. Still really expensive uh, because yarn is just really expensive unfortunately, but better than usual. I have another project that I wanna do and I'm going to use this yarn for it. I didn't have any blues really, I'm very, very heavily stocked on pinks, light pinks, and that sort, but I don't really have any blues or anything of that kind. Now, I apologize about the lighting because it is late evening. I'm also going to be making some really fun projects with this yarn. I got a purple, I got this like bluish green, and I got this pink. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like sets of three gummy bears in these colors and I think they're gonna be super super cute so so stay tuned for that because the finished projects will be on my whatnot shop so I spent $30 on yarn again today um, after spending 40 just last week so I am continuously buying new yarn this is a problem with handcrafts and crochet especially is because you need the yarn for the project if you don't have the yarn the project doesn't exist I did also get this cool little latch hook project and it looks like it's like a little rug. I really wanted to try it, but the B one looked pretty easy to do. I've never done latch hook kind of stuff. I've seen my mom do it before, but she's forgotten how to do it, so she can't teach me. Um, she's actually the one that taught me how to crochet. I've made a short about that. Then we went over to our local discount store and we wanted to stop by to get some meal prep, uh, food prep kind of stuff. Now at the discount store, we got some really fun Halloween decorations. Um, I'll have to peel the stickers off of these, but we have a Jack Skellington little wooden figure. He was $1.99, very, very cute. Also $1.99, we have a Sally. She's very cute. And I kind of wanted to maybe see if I could fit them in my background in my videos. And then we have, of course, Oogie Boogie. Michael also chose out this very cute bird, this very cute Boo Halloween bird and she was only 99 cents. And then I got some odds and ends too. I picked up this lotion, I smelled it, I fell in love with it, and it is punk, vanilla pumpkin spice, and it very much does smell like that. It was definitely worth $3, I was happy to get it. It smells amazing, and I will probably get more. And then I did mention to you guys, I would show you what I used to get this kind of pinkish rose gold tint in my hair, and that is this. I get it from our local discount store. All green tag sticker stuff was 50 cents so this bottle here was 50 cents and so was this here this is foaming dry shampoo I'll get to this in a second but this you just spray on like wet to damp hair depending on how much color you want your hair to take so I do like this tint I think it kind of makes my skin tone look a little bit warmer it makes me look less dead which I'm a fan of now moving on to the Pantene dry shampoo foam this was such an interesting concept. I really struggle too because I do have a darker blonde hair. Anytime dry shampoo dries white, it looks awful. It looks like I have dander. It's it's just, I'm not a fan. I wish that they would figure out how to make dry shampoo dry clear um, in, in more brands than like two or three and make it like affordable for the average human. But this one, you just shake well, you section hair and dispense a small amount of hair Dispense a small amount and apply to dry hair at the roots. So you start dry, thoroughly rub in, repeat for each section of hair, dry brush out style as desired. So I'm interested to see if this will be a little bit more um, clean looking and like easier to use than my spray on dry shampoo that currently leaves quite a bit of residue. This one says it doesn't leave residue, but I've seen ones that say they don't leave residue and they, leave, they very much do. So we will see. Um, 50 cents worth? We'll see. So these are the unique flavors. They're not all unique flavors. Here's the chocolate milk, regular milk, it's banana milk, strawberry milk. They also have root beer milk, which was an odd experience and rather accurate. I don't know if I enjoyed it though. Michael enjoyed it thoroughly though. And then we also have cookies and cream. Now let me take you to the kitchen and I will show you the foods that we got from Ross. 
Okay, so we went to Ross the other day and we got these three things. We also got this, but this is the newer one because I already ate this and it was amazing. It was delicious. I highly recommend it. I will probably find it online so I can buy all of it. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited to because as you guys probably know, if you're Andrea of Sunshine, you'll probably know that I do have food allergies, so I can't have wheat. These are gluten-free and they are soy-free as well, which is hard for me to find in Asian foods. We also have a Hearts of Palm Pasta, which is gluten-free as well. And it's just a different take on like a, like a gluten-free pasta. Because usually I have rice pasta like this or something like that. And it's just a little bit hard to cook sometimes. I'll be interested to see what the texture is of that. I also got some sauces. This is the other sauce that I've already tried. It is super good for dipping. And this kimchi mayo was soy free and gluten free. So if you are also, I highly recommend this particular sauce. We got these super fun fries. Where are they from again? Thailand? Taiwan. Taiwan. These are so fun. These are freeze dried fries. They taste almost exactly like McDonald's fries just with less salt but that's what they look like yeah we haven't had dinner yet though so I'll um we'll work on that and then I'll probably end the vlog here oh boy Pepsi is joining us hi buddy if you guys want to see my new creations of crochet my gummy bears and stuff like that that I'll be working on they should be in my whatnot store so I highly recommend that you check that out the link will be down in the description box below. Also, if you don't have Whatnot yet, you can download the app with this QR code or the link down in the description and you can get $10 from Whatnot to spend on the app as well. Also, where I got my jacket, if you guys are interested in secondhand clothing, she has some really cute stuff on there, so I will also put her shop down in the description box too. I do do giveaways of these fries too on Whatnot, as well as some Pokeballs. I think that's everything. Thank you so much for joining our family here today. And as always, remember, pain is inevitable, but misery is always optional. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.